so I am making a so, sort of like a brownie dessert today out of some almond pulp that I had left over from making almond milk a few days ago. And so in my food processor, I added the almond pulp and some dates. So I think it was like a, a cup of almond pulp. And then I think I put like five dates in there. They were sort of small dates. And then I put a little bit of maple syrup in there, probably like two tablespoons of maple syrup. And I think that's all I put in here. And then I packed it down into these three little um, pie dishes. And they have these little removable bottoms, so they're really easy to pop out after they come out of the freezer. So for my frosting on top of these, I'm gonna use um, the recipe from the cream cheese frosting that I made um, for my carrot cakes a couple weeks ago. And so in my blender, I'm gonna put, um, it's like a little over a cup of cashews that have been soaked in water for like three days. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna add some lemon juice, two tablespoons, a teaspoon of vanilla powder, a little dash of salt, and I think it's, I forget how much of this, I'll have to look up some maple syrup, um, and then a little bit of coconut cream. I think it's like a fourth cup of coconut cream. And I'm actually gonna put sea moss in this one. I've never tried putting sea moss in like a dessert before. So um, yeah, so we'll give that a try. So I'll whip this up. Um, while I've been prepping this, I've just been eating my seeded Concord grapes from the farmer's market. And yeah, we'll see how the frosting turns out. Okay, so for the maple syrup, it is a fourth cup, and then for the coconut cream, it's a fourth cup also. And I think I'll do like a tablespoon of the sea moss, and it's also a fourth cup of water too, so I'm gonna add this all to my blender. There go the cashews, and I won't film this part. <laughs> The cashew cream is looking good. It's a little bit like more liquidy than I'm used to, but I think it was because the coconut cream had a bunch of like the water that had separated. So I just put that in there too. And there were less cashews this time, but I think the sea moss will like thicken it up a little more, especially like it'll go in the freezer, you know, and then I'll thaw it out to eat it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna put some icing or frosting on here, um, cashew cream frosting, and then I hope you can't hear my dogs barking. I hate when I'm watching a YouTube video and somebody's dog is barking um, in the video because then it like makes my dogs get up and bark, so hopefully you can't hear those little minions right now. Yum! I'm going to try and um, chop some carob chips in the coffee grinder. Um, I've never tried that before, but I just want something to put on top and I think like chopped carob chips would be cute. Um, I could probably just chop them with a knife too, but I don't know, it'll be fun to try it with a coffee grinder. So I'll just wash my hands. I had some leftover cashew cream, so I'm just gonna put it in this little jar, and I think that'll be a really cute treat um, for my kids or me. So just add that to the jar. That would be so fun to just put like some raspberries on top of it. I saw Kara Brotman had a really good tip once about putting, um, you take frozen raspberries and you just crush them up in your hand and it breaks them up into the cute little like raspberry balls to add on top of parfaits and desserts and stuff. And I just, I love that tip so much, like so clever. Yeah, Kara Brotman is just at like this epic level of raw food cooking um, that is very inspirational to me. Okay, that got a little messy and crazy. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Okay, here I go with uh, some carob chips in the coffee grinder, just for decoration. And that kinda 
me and my kids will be the only ones eating this, but it kind of lets you know what's inside when you put a little topping on. Okay, let's see. Ah! Oh, they're just mostly crushed, but I'll grab the big pieces. That'll probably look cute. Oh yeah, that's pretty cute. Yep, pretty adorable. Yeah, these are gonna go in the freezer for at least a few hours um, before then I put them in the fridge. Usually I put them in the fridge like in the morning before I go to work and then I come home or yeah, like I take them out of the freezer, put them in the fridge when I go to work and then I come home and then I have this wonderful little dessert waiting for me. And I usually eat it like before I eat my salad. <laughs> Because after I eat my salad, I just don't want anything else. Like, I'm kind of all done eating and with sweets. So, yeah, so this is a little dessert. I usually eat like half, and then like my um, little two year old will eat some, and, or I'll save it for the next day, like the next morning. <laughs> and then to this cute little cup of cashew cream, I'm just gonna put the rest of the carob, the uh, crushed, crushed carob chips in there right on top and that'll be oh, just adorable. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So this is going right in the, fr the freezer with everything else. I hope this recipe helped to inspire you and just let you see how simple and quick and easy it can be to make a raw dessert and um, so hopefully this inspires you to make something for yourself and your loved ones and if you give it a try let me know and thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying my content please subscribe and like this video it really would mean a lot to me I'm trying really hard to upload more videos more often thanks Here's how it turned out. It's really good. As you can see, I've already had some, but I'll show you how it turned out. It's delicious. It's creamy. It gives the illusion of chocolate. It's moist. It's chewy. It's everything.